Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Coaches Corner series. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoy all the videos, please give them a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps our... Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach as many like-minded goalkeeping enthusiasts as possible across the world. Today we're introducing two goalkeeping professionals who operate within the English Football League. The first is professional goalkeeper Adam Collin and the second is Shrewsbury Town goalkeeper coach Phil Smart. So as always, I hope this episode brings you some value. Let's crack on and head over to Adam. Hi, my name is Adam Collin. I'm the owner and lead coach of AC1 Goalkeeping. Uh, I'm still currently playing professional at Carlisle United in League Two. I'd just like to uh, thank Matt for inviting me to do this short video piece on how COVID-19 has uh, affected my goalkeeping uh, academy and obviously talk about things moving forwards. So, sort of when we first heard about the disease, um, we were still coaching, and then we just basically followed government, uh, government advice. And, and as soon as the government said it wasn't safe to carry on and we had to shut down, we ended all our sessions immediately. Um, I think in the time uh, we've had off so far, we've been able to sort of reflect as, as coaches and, and the company, um, as well as planning um, for when we start back again. Uh, we've got all our sessions planned. Uh, we've got a big goalie wars tournament also that was meant for June. We're probably having to put that back to later in the year also. We also had a trip um, away to Malta to a goalie wars tournament, which we went to last year. Uh, again, that was for June and they've had to cancel their tournament uh, and hopefully they will re uh, rearrange for later in the year so we can attend that as well. In a game, and this is the substitute. Looking for room for a shot. He found it too. That's a really good reaction we'd say from Colin. But we, we, we look at about close to about 100 goalkeepers each week, week in our group sessions and um, they were hitting such high standards week in week out with their training uh, and, and getting towards the end of the season where in their own leagues, whether they were under eights or adults, they were getting to the business end of the leagues as, as were professionals um, and they're all getting to the end of the cup competitions as well so as well as the training that we're doing they were really really busy in, in their own leagues you know buying for trophies and uh, it, it was a shame because they were really hitting like I said good high standards and carrying them on to the games as we were seeing with all the man the matches and, and girl the matches that we were getting back so yeah it is it, and obviously the layoff as well is going to hit them hard but when we get back to training, I'm sure those levels will come will come up uh, really, really quickly. Uh, and finally, how we how we're adapting to it is basically we're doing releasing some home videos weekly home videos which are on our Facebook page and on YouTube where the, the goalies can go and have a look, watch the sessions, take little bits out of those sessions to do with the parents, the kid, uh, their brothers and sisters etc at home uh, and we, again we've had really really good feedback off that and some great video footage as well. And we're also running a, a glove competition where for instance here they can design their own glove with Glue Pro and myself and we'll put that into production for the winner um, later in the season as well. So loads of little different things just to keep the interest going. So again, I'd like to uh, say thanks thanks to Matt for involving AC1 goalkeeping and myself uh, and I just hope that everybody's staying safe out there and we can fight this together. Thank you very much.
My name is Phil Smart. I'm head of academy goalkeeping at Shrewsbury Town Football Club. Um, I have been now for the, there for quite a while. Um, obviously, difficult time we find ourselves in at the moment. Uh, my daily role has massively changed. Um, usually, we have morning and afternoon and evening sessions, along with uh, reflection, analysis, and planning. Um, given everything, um, we've had to adapt to help the boys to keep them engaged to help them stay positive. Uh, our club have set up daily challenges that the lads can do at home safely, um, along with positional tasks that our analyst sends out clips, along with team footage, um, so that the players watch, and then they meet on a Zoom meeting um, as a team, and then as position-specific groups, um, to go through the footage, and collectively give their opinions and look for the key attributes needed to be successful um, and help them develop their game. Um, I think that the biggest impact has been the change to the daily routines for the players. Um, not being at school, not being able to socialise with friends and not being able to play football with their teammates. Um, something that we all possibly take for granted. Um, I know personally I've had to adapt and this, uh, this has made me greatly appreciate everything that I have, everything that we do. Um, and realise how lucky we actually are um, in the certain things that we have in our lives. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm currently reflecting on my sessions, uh, my philosophy, syllabus, um, to see what I can do different within my role to benefit their development and uh, of the club's goalkeepers. It's it, for me, it's a, an opportunity of where I can look back at what I've done over the the past few years, not only at Shrewsbury but also other clubs I've worked at, and uh, to recognise things that could be changed, adapted to help them better, more greatly to progress them to evolve with the game. Biggest advice I can give for coaches at this point is, is use that time to reflect. Um, there's loads of learning platforms out there uh, to help you do this as well. Um, look back at your own sessions, look back at footage, look back at your planning, um, and then watch other sessions from other coaches and other sports. There's something we can take from everybody. 
um, to help us um, self-improve, use it as CPD. Um, for players, it's just keep staying positive. Um, if you can get in the garden, get using the ball, work on your skills, not only with your hands, but with your feet as well. As I say, feet's a big thing of the, with the game at the moment, where it's you've got to be able to use both feet. So um, there's things that you can be done safely at home, where little passing drills, ball on a wall. Um, there's loads of stuff out there from goalkeeping coaches like Matt, and obviously Matt's done some great stuff um, for you to do in the garden, self-isolation goalkeeping drill, drills. So uh, for me, it's stay positive, keep smiling, and take care. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching today's episode. I hope it brought you some value and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to Phil and thank you to Adam for taking part in our Coaches Corner series. The next episode will be with Steve Rodden, who is the owner of Elite Goalkeeper Academy, and with Dan Worthington, who works with DW Academy, as we focus in on grassroots football. So thank you for watching again and I'll see you all soon.